Hello everyone, this is DFS Skills right here with a rather special video. I have actually been planning to make this video for quite a while right now, but I couldn't really find the motivation, but now I have it. So therefore, this video is going to be about what I remember, um, the old times of RS, what I used to do when I was a little kid, and how I enjoyed it way more than I actually do now. So before we start, I have to get rid of this, because that wasn't here, and there sure wasn't no high detail. So that has to go on minimum as well. Now, as you see, I'm obviously at Lumbridge Castle, and for actually new players, you probably won't come here that often. But back in the day, this used to be the spawn, and <laughs> because I was a noob, I kind of lot. So I would come here, and that would actually happen. People would actually spontaneously talk to you, and then not run away. But <laughs> oh well, basically this flying thing wasn't there, and that blonde, long-haired gay bitch was wasn't also there, but. This Lumbridge Castle is not where I have some of my closest memories, so I'm going to one of the first parts where I have my closest memories. And I, yeah, this sounds kind of gay, but it's just how it is. And yeah, sit back, enjoy the music, and enjoy. Alright, this is one of the first parts. I used to be here a lot when I was just starting the game. I would be killing these cows for cow hides and then sell them. But I did got scammed at the time. At the time, <laughs> I didn't even kill one of them. But at the time, um, these were a hundred each, and I kind of got scammed because <laughs> there was a friend of mine who um, I was getting full mithril. How does that sound? <laughs> and I was saving up money for that, and he made me kill five hundred cow hearts and bag them for full mithril, which back in the day was like fifty k. A full mithril back in the day was like ten k. So I kind of got ripped off there. I do not remember who it was, and yeah, it's quite funny after a while, but this is where I could, would get my first levels, and get my first money, and my armor, so yeah, um, I will be going to the second spot right now, we just arrived at the second spot, uh, south of Draenor Bank, chopping willows for 60 wood cutting, that is what I used to do on basically every account that I made. I would get 60 wood cutting and basically not do anything else with it afterwards because yeah I just wanted to get 60 wood cutting and I thought that I would be making well a lot of money off the use but yeah back then I wasn't really that patient and yeah it kind of screwed me over but mostly all of these people are bots and back in the day if there was a bot everybody would find out and everybody would report that guy basically what you would say is any but uh, like you would speak you would accuse random people that are chopping wood right here for botting you would just t tell their name ask them if they were botting if they didn't reply we all would go at them and be like you bot and all reporting it was good times back in the day bots were actually um, seen as a filth from most players but now people can't be fucked to actually mind mind them at all so yeah I do have some good memories right here, and I spend quite a lot of hours, maybe, yeah, probably days right here. So, let me move on to the next spot. This is the, <laughs> the next spot. I really remember fishing lobsters here a lot. This was definitely a hot spot at the time for free to players. But right here, you could, there was, this was the only spot you could actually fish lobsters in free to play, and they would sell for 220 each uh, for, um, for free for raw and 250 each for cooked. Now I remember spending days here, literally my whole holiday. I was right here fishing lobsters. <laughs> I got like 70 fishing, and I was actually really proud of that back in the day. If you had a uh, if you had a 50 plus, it would actually be considered a high level. So that's quite cool. And back in the day, I also had the songs on. Always 24/7. Sea shanty. This song. It's not. I can't hear it because my music is off. But back in the day, ah, oh, I listened to that song over and over and over again. I really couldn't be asked to, to put the, the tunes off. It's a secret of my life. Now back in the day, they would sell for 220 each for raw. Look at that, 127. I think they went up. I thought they were actually less. So yeah, it's, it's yeah. Well, back in the day, this was a hot spot. Right now. One other people, but I am in levels right now, so let's hope it's free to play. It will be packed. Anyway, let me move on to the next spot. This is the next spot. 
south of Edgebill Bank. After you got the uh, 60 wood cutting, you would come here and chop yew logs. I remember sitting here for hours trying to cut some yew logs and make some bank. I actually have a, a confession to make. Uh, back in the day, this is all free to play by the way, uh, I made two accounts, got them to 60 wood cutting, and there's no botting involved. I just legitimately got them to 60 wood cutting and double log and chop you lost twice as fast <laughs> if you think about it right now i don't even think that's a, a rule anymore back in the day it was actually bad but who would find out <laughs> it's a, a clean lie i'm not sure how you guys say it but anyway let's move on to the next part oh and this thing sure wasn't there and now I sp i'm playing in low detail and it looks way better than the actually normal detail back in the day would look like the next spot is south of Fellow uh, uh, West Bank. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this is where I used to start merchanting. And back in the day, merchanting wasn't like how it is now. Back in the day, you would buy legitimately stuff for less and sell it for higher. For example, my merchant back then was cooked lobsters. I would buy them right here for about 220 each. And I would uh, buy them in a lot of K, well not a lot, because I had like 600k when I started merging and I went from 600k to one and a half mil in a day and I was so proud. But you can't forget that back in the day 1.4 mil was considered as rich, especially in free to play, because this is still all free to play. So I would buy my lobsters right here and I would sell them in a PK world, world 6 I believe, um, in actual bank for 250 each. And I would have to compete against all those local toppers. And I remember, how the fuck do they do that? Because I couldn't find it out. But I was also like 12 years old. So that probably is why. Anyway, let me move on. The next video uh, spot is when I was actually a member. I got, I got members to Thursday. And I thought that I wanted to explore the members areas. So I went right here, which is a member spot, I believe. And yeah, I went here with all my cash. And I was 28 combat with five range and the name was kids charge kind of copied from kids rank because that is so basically this happened um those things were aggressive to me and i had all my sh my money here and look what happened if you actually hit me it will poison me and it will hit like 130s and basically i never knew what poison was so i was kind of panicking what do i gotta do and I basically died right here at this, well not at this spot because I tried to run away from the poison but obviously the poison kept on hitting me and I lost my 1.4 mil and 27k. I remember it was something like that. <laughs> so yeah, that kind of was a bummer. First day of members, lost all my bank in one second. Well, you know. This is also a spot that I will never forget. Leveling range up on zombies right here at this spot at the Barrack Sears. I got here from 1 to whatever the range level I needed to like 70 range or something I actually would go PK on my pillars. It was quite a good time if you if I think back of it and yeah it's just weird to be standing on the exact same spot and I remember people who were doing demons, this demon slayer quest would also often come here to dick up the key that would be right here <laughs> good old times. Alright, so this is going to be the last clip of this video. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy something different because it's definitely something different from PK and commentaries or update videos. If you did enjoy it, please let me know in the comments or give me a thumbs up. I want to um, thank all of, all of my subscribers for the feedback that I got on my latest videos and my all my videos and I wouldn't know where I was without you. I know those are some pretty strong words, but that's pretty much how it is. I do love you guys all, and if you did enjoy it, I will make another uh, another um, version of this video because I have a lot of more old memories. Basically, guys, I love you all. I love the support, and thank you so much. Pep, pep, cheerio.